Hey band fam, uh, so we're going to continue our work with our dotted quarter eighth note rhythm this week. Uh, as you can see on the board behind me, I have quite a few of those. Um, if you look at exercise number one, I'm trying, there we go. It's hard by not looking at it. Uh, if you look at it, that's in 4-4 four, four time. Uh, so is number two, but number three is what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so let's look at number one and let's clap and count. Remember, whenever you have that dotted rhythm, which let me make one dot a little bit bigger for you, you want to clap and count it one and two and, okay? That means that we want to be counting one and two and three, four, okay? So let's go ahead and clap and count number over there, one, okay? Here we go. And ret, t, go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four, one. Rest, 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 okay? All right, good. So what's the difference between number one and number two? Uh, number two, each measure ends with a half note. So we're gonna clap and count number two. There we go. All right, here we go. Ready and go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four, one. Two, three, four, okay? All right, so we're pretty good with that rhythm now. Uh, what I want you guys to do is open up to page 44, and we're gonna get to number three over here in a second, but I, what I want you to do is I want you to get to number, uh, or page number 44 in your red books, okay? And on page 44, we are going to do a number 37. It should look like number one up here. We're not going to do the repeat. Here we go. And 37. And ret, t, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And of course, we have that downbeat at the end like we always do in class. Everything's normal, okay? All right, let's go ahead and let's do number 38. If you look at number 38, it's opposite of what number one is up here. The quarter notes come first and then they're dotted quarter eighth note rhythm. Here we go, number 38 on page 44. And ret, t, go. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Good, okay. So. Uh, let's see, let's go to number 40. If you look at it closely, that dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythm is repeated on beats one and three of each measure. Okay, here we go. Number 40 and ret, t, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Good. Okay, so if you look at number three on the board, ooh, I'm getting better at pointing at it. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do number 12 on page 45, okay? It's all the way at the bottom of page 45. Uh, it's underneath the 3-4 section, and that's what's different about number 3 over here. It has 3-4 uh, time. There's only three beats in a measure. And the reason that I'm pointing this out is because your playing submission this week is going to be an exercise in the book that has this rhythm in 3-4, and I want to make sure that we're not playing it with an extra beat like it's 4-4, four, because four, that's what we're used to. So, for number 12, you just can't say beat 4. you got to be ready to go on from this third note right here, or right there. There we go. I'm trying. It's like five feet behind me. Give me a break. All right, so we don't want to treat this quarter note, there we go, like this half note. That will not work out because we only have three beats in a measure. So we got to make sure after that quarter note we're ready for beat one of the next measure. I'll show you how number three sounds on the board. It's also number 12 on page 45 in your book. Whatever one you want to look at is fine, okay? So here we go. One and ready, go. One and two and three, one and two and three, one, two, three. Notice how I'm not waiting for beat, or I'm not waiting for beat one. I'm not pretending like there's a half note, like there is in number two, or like the quarter notes are in number one. So here we go again, clap and count number three with me this time, or you can look at number 12 on page 45 in your book. Ready and go. One and two and three, one and two and three, one. All right, we're getting ready for beat one. So you're probably wondering, Mr. Moran, how does this relate to what we are doing this week? Good question. 
So what we're doing this week is one that we're going to do together is number 120, okay? Number 120, and then the one that you're going to submit for us this week is number 122, okay? We'll get there in a second. So in number 120, we have uh, concert A flat major. So we have three flats for most of us, flutes and mallets and trombones. We have three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. So flutes, we want to use thumb one, two, and three, and your pinky key because we need A flat. Trombones, third position, A flat. And mallets, out of our three keys that are together, we have G flat, A flat, here's the one in the middle, and B flat, okay? So make sure that you're choosing A flat, not A natural. So this is number 120, and this is just to help get you ready for our playing test, okay? A lot of you may know this song. Some of you may not. I don't know. Uh, it's a classic. Ask your parents to sing it for you. They might be able to. So, the easiest part is the first two full measures with a pickup. So we're going to play that really quick, okay? I'll give you one, two, and we're in on three. Ready? And one, and... <laughs> I should be looking at my music instead of thinking I have it up here. Let's try it again, okay? Here we go. And one, and... And now we're at our third full measure, and guess what comes up? This rhythm in number three. So let's look at the third full measure, okay? How should it sound? Let's clap and count it first. Ready? Clap and count the third full measure. Ready? And go. One and two and three. One, two. Okay, let's play it. Ready? All right. So hopefully you got that dotted quarter eighth note rhythm. If not, that's okay. You will get it. You just have to keep working on it. So let's play the beginning up until that point. Okay, here we go. Ready? And one, and... Alright, what changes during this? Well, right now, our dynamics are about to change to piano, but I want you to ignore that until you get the rhythm correctly, okay? When you practice something, you'll practice it all at mezzo forte, and then get your dynamics. That's like the last finishing step in my book, okay? So, uh, make sure you're watching your slurs, watch your tonguing, etc., etc. So, a um, couple things. I did forget to say altos were using F natural. I apologize. First finger, not second finger. First finger. And trumpets, you have B flats, first valve, along with clarinets, who have B flat, which you all have A in the octave key, or the register key. And you also have thumb, one, two, three, and B flat, first finger, not second finger, first finger, okay? Um, so uh, let's go ahead and let's play through the entire thing, and we're going to play it all mezzo forte, okay? Here we go. Ready? I'll give you one, two, and take a big breath. Watch your slurs. Watch your key signature. And one, and... out for is our third full measure and again you have that later on in a 9 10 11th measure uh, you also have it in the 13th measure if you want to just go through and play those you may <laughs> Okay, 
So we're looking at this rhythm in 3-4 this week. Your playing test that you need to submit is number 122, okay? You're going to notice that the very first two measures, you have this rhythm right here. One and two and three. One and two and three. Ugh, that is hard to do. Um, but you guys are getting the point, I hope, at home. Um, reminder, we have a Zoom meeting once a week so you guys can help learn this with me. I want to help. I want you all to have success. Uh, so here are the first two measures of 122. Let's clap and count it first. Ready? And go. One and two and three. One and two and three. Okay. Hopefully you clap and count that with me. Uh, the other thing I want to mention about 122 is it only uses four notes. But you got to make sure that you know what notes you're looking at. Okay, that third note is the one where I feel like we're going to have trouble. Trombones, that's E natural and second. Flutes, that's E natural, thumb, one, two, three, one, two. Skip your third finger and add the pinky, okay? It's not E flat, but it's E natural, okay? This is my left hand, this is my right hand, just so we're on the same page. E natural, okay? Uh, trumpets, we're using F sharp, which hopefully you're choosing second valve because it's second valve. C sharp for saxophones, it's our favorite note. You put nothing down, it's awesome. Uh, and then mallets, we wanna make sure we don't use E flat. We wanna make sure that we're using E natural. Not up on the top register, we want it on the bottom one. Uh, oh yeah, and clarinets, F sharp, you wanna use your first finger on this one. Okay, first finger. So you have D, E, F sharp, just your first finger. And all your Fs in this are sharp, just like all the E's are natural and all the C's are sharp, depending on what instrument you are. So here we go. We're going to play the first two measures. This is my bonus for you this week. Watch your key signature. 122, the first two measures. One and... did you can figure out that second or the third through the eighth measure important band fam clap the rhythm before you play it the biggest issue this week was rhythms with what you were playing okay and that's what we're working on it's all rhythm so have fun um i look forward to seeing you all at our zoom meeting later this week see ya <laughs>